Hello, my name is Lady Just. Today I'm coming to you from my home. I didn't go to the studio because I want you to stay with me as we watch these videos and images together. When the e-levy discussion was dominating the news, the argument that was also dominating the news was that the Nanado administration hasn't done anything with all the money that it borrowed. But is it true that Ghanaians cannot see what has been done in the past five and a half years? I've shown many, many projects that this administration has completed or is working on completing. But today, I'll show you one of the most significant of all. But first, let's listen to the CEO of the Ghana Railway Development Authority, Mr. Yao Ousu. So as we speak now, Ghana, currently we have about $2 billion in the pipeline in terms of investment. Mm -hmm. All right. Two what? Two billion US dollars. Wow. Yes, in investment in the railway so sector. So how come we haven't seen any trains yet? All right. Because, for example, we have the Tamampaka Dam, mm -hmm. which is part of what they call the Eastern Expansion. Mm -hmm. It's 97 kilometers. Okay. It goes from Tamaport to a town called Mpakadan, okay. near the Akomu region, okay. 97 kilometers. Okay. Now, this project is supposed to, it will be completed by the end of 2023. Okay. Okay. And then on the Western Line, mm -hmm. which has been our top priority, mm -hmm. the reason why the Western Line is so important is because of the bauxite mines okay. at Awaso okay. and also Nyinahini. Okay. And then you also have the manganese mine at Nsuta. Okay. So the focus now, most of our investment is on the Western Line, from Takrade Port all the way to Kumasi. Now, on the southern part of the western line... And uh, how many miles is that? It's about, about 340. 340. Uh, exactly. And then we have a branch line okay. from Dunkwa to Awasu. Okay. Awasu is where we have the bauxite mines. Right. And then from Awasu to Nyinahini. Okay. We have seen it before in the past when some administrations mention a very large amount of money supposedly going into some project only for the project to be a figment of others' imagination. But the money would be gone. Not this time. In this case, you have a look yourself where all the money has been invested. To begin with, almost 200 kilometers of railway lines have been built since 2017 with another 300 kilometers at various stages of completion. Just look at the videos and the pictures. These are not the designer drawings that the NDC used in their infamous 419 Green Book. This is what we call in the Ghanaian parlance feely feely. And don't forget that these lines are the standard gauge version and not the narrow gauge lines that the British bequeathed us after independence. And it's noteworthy that during the colonial times we had the narrow gauge. Yes. Okay. Now yes. you guys are building the international the, gauge. The standard gauge. Okay. The narrow gauge is the distance. When you say narrow gauge, mm -hmm. it's basically the distance between the rails, right. which, which is about 1,035 millimeters, mm -hmm. versus the, instan the standard gauge, which is a wider gauge, mm -hmm. which is about 1,435 millimeters. Good. Exactly. And then with the standard gauge, which means that you can go for a higher axle load. Okay. Axle load means that you can carry more okay. um, uh, locomotives and more weight okay. and wagons to be okay. able to transport Didn't more goods. That. Now look at this Adomi Bridge. It has become a tourist marvel in Ghana. See how beautiful it is. Now look at this video. A similar one is being built for trains to travel across the Volta Lake. And how long is that bridge? And that is a 300 meter bridge 300 meter over the Volta. Okay. I know it's not a suspension break. It cannot be. Uh, it is a suspension break. Suspension break. Suspension break. And the train is going to pass. And the train is going to pass on it. It's a suspension <laughs> bridge. <laughs> a so three hundred meter suspension, suspension bridge, bridge yes. to be used by yes. freight train. Yes. From it's, it's, it starts from Senchi, all the way to Japan area. I don't know if yeah. I want to know what's yeah. the price tag on that. For the bridge, or, bridge. no, it's part. It's part of the Tamampaka Dam. The Tamampaka Dam is about half a billion dollars. The 200 completed kilometers and the additional 300 kilometers that are at various stages of completion would make it 500 kilometers by the end of 2024. How much is that? And the average price tag to build a kilometer of railway is about $5 million per kilometer. Wow. So, so the, the 200 that's been built now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. already $1 billion is gone. Mm -hmm. So when you listen to Mahama, who together with President Mills, built only 15 kilometers in the eight years that they misruled Ghana, 
criticizing Nanado about where the money went, maybe he should tell us where all the money he borrowed for railways went. But Ghanaians, we are our own worst enemies, you know. As Nanado builds these expensive railway lines, look at what Galamse operators are doing. Look at how close they are digging to the lines to destroy them. The law says there can be no development of any kind within 30 meters from the railway lines. And yet, look at how close they have dug the earth to the lines. Our current master plan, the railway master plan, the entire network mm -hmm. of railway network in Ghana mm -hmm. is about 3,840 kilometers. Okay. And based upon that, um, and then they are all supposed to touch all the 16 regions. Okay. This master plan is not just railway lines and it is not just the modern coaches that are being procured to run on them. The master plan is comprehensive enough to include a whole railway university. Yes, you heard right, a railway university. The university will train Ghanaians in all facets of the railway sector, engineers, conductors, mechanics, track managers, and so on. This again is an actual university that has been built, not designer drawings. Can we count on the NDC to follow this master plan to continue building the standard gauge lines if they come to par? To answer that, look at what they did to NHIS. Free school feeding, free maternal care, free cocoa spraying, Metro Mass Transit, and all the great initiatives that President Kofo left for them. That should give you the answer as to what would the railway sector look like under Amhama administration. Next time you're driving on the highways and you see a Burkina Faso truck and other slow-moving trucks impeding traffic, Think of this massive investment in railway lines. Think of how it will benefit you. All those goods will be going by train to Burkina Faso, which would free up the roads so that you and I can travel in peace on Ghana's highways and arrive safely and quickly at our destinations. These are investments into the future which results you may not see today but this is what is impressive about this nanado administration it does not always invest in things that you see today it invests for the future which is what responsible governments are supposed to do so next time someone asks where all the money borrowed under the nado administration went at least now you know where some of them went please be sure to visit our social media handles, like and subscribe to our pages. My name is Lady Just and this has been Truth in Politics.